Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at turning a normal picture into a vector image. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right away and the first thing I'll show you guys is what a vector image is. So as you can see over here we have just a regular picture taken with a normal camera. What we're going to be doing today is taking this picture and turning it into this. I guess you could call it a cartoon. And today I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to get the job done, but you could pretty much use any version of Photoshop that you want. So let's go ahead and get started. There are two different techniques to doing this. The first one is pretty much the easier one. If you have a graphic designing tablet, this is the technique that you want to use. Uh, pretty much you just take the tablet and take the pen to the tablet and just draw everything out. And that makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have a tablet, then don't worry, there is a way you can still get this done, but it's a little harder and it's going to take a lot more time. So I'm going to get started with teaching you guys how to do it if you don't have a graphic design tablet first, because most people don't. So I'm going to open this image up and the first thing you want to do is make a new layer. That's Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And just change the name of the layer to the body part that you're going to do. I'm going to quickly just show you guys how to do the jawbone. So type in jawbone and press OK. Now you want to make sure to create a new layer for every new thing that you do. For example, you can see down here I have glasses, hair, mouth, nose, and so on and so on. You want to create a new layer for everything. That way if you mess up, you could just delete the layer and then you could um, do it again. So it's not a big deal. So on this jawbone layer, what you want to do is select the pen tool and then make sure you have the color black selected and then actually before you select the pen tool select your brush tool right click in the image and select a size maybe um, around 15 this is a fairly large image so minus 15 you might need to um, change the size depending on what image uh, what size your image is and then make sure it's at 100% hardness and it's uh, just the regular brush and then choose the pen tool and with the pen tool you want to just pretty much highlight the area that you want. So I'm going to click up here and down here and then click out and then just drag it to drag the line to fit my jawbone. Once you're done with that, right click on it and click on stroke path and the tool you're going to use is a brush tool and you could either simulate pressure or not simulate pressure depending on what you want. Simulate pressure, what it does, it basically just makes the line fade out at the end. That's all it does. You could you could choose if you want to do that or not. I choose to simulate the pressure and press OK. Then you go to your paths, which is near your layers, um, and delete that work path. Right click and click delete path. And now we could see the brush stroke. And as you can see over here, it fades out a little at the end. And this is pretty much what you want to do for the entire image. Go back to the layers and I could just continue this out. Click right here and click near my chin. And then right click, stroke path, brush, simulate pressure, OK. Go to paths, delete the work path, and now you can see that. And that's pretty much what you want to do for everything. Now once you have that done, you want to make a new layer under the jawbone layer. So Command Shift N or Control Shift N. And I'm just going to name this jaw color press OK and then you want to just choose a color of your skin tone that looks about good press OK choose the brush tool you might you might want to make it a little bigger and then just start coloring and just like that and you want to go as close to the line as you can to make it seem as realistic as you can and you pretty much just do that for the entire image now that's how you do it if you don't have a graphic design tablet. If you have a graphic design tablet, it's pretty much the same thing except you draw it out. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. Command Shift N, new layer, draw bone, OK. Now you want to select the brush tool, select a good size, maybe for this image, maybe around 15. Let's actually do like 12. And then just draw and just you want to take things slow and pretty much there it is there you go you get a very similar effect uh, but it gets done a lot faster because you're just drawing it out 
but if you're using a graphic designing tablet you're gonna have to have a little experience obviously because this isn't something that you could just do right out of the box you have to have a little experience um, take it slow because you could easily mess up with a graphic design tablet but if you have the experience and you take it slow then it comes out very nice and you could get the job done a lot faster so after you're done pretty much just drawing and coloring the whole picture and you have something like this um, what I did is just um, I added this in the background the little um, purple background I added that uh, all it essentially is is just a purple gradient um, in the background and then I chose a rising sun brush and then I just put it in the background and there you go there you have it uh, if you want the Rising Sun brush, I'll put the link to that um, in the video description. If you're watching um, this video on YouTube, the video description is going to be below. If you're watching it on octotuts.com, the video description is going to be below this video too. So that's it for today. This is octotuts.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.